Morning artists, I found another great book that is gonna help us create some faces from things that we have at home. This is called Let's Make Faces by Hanok Piven. And while I'm reading this book, think of some things that you might have in your house that you could start collecting to see if what kind of faces you can make. Oh, it's bananas and oranges. Hmm. Making faces is fun, but where do I start? First, let's find some. The world is filled with faces waiting to be discovered. So you can even look around your house and see if you can find things that already have a face. Look carefully at these fruits and vegetables. What more can you see? I see faces. Now, if you look at these tools from the garage, I bet you'll find faces too. When you go out into the garden, this is my favorite thing to do, you will meet friends. Look at all those shapes from nature. Now that we've found faces, we're ready to make faces. Let's gather stuff. Eyes, so you have to see if you can find two of something. Noses, looks like pretty much anything can be a nose. And mouths, oh look, it's a piece of, of a necklace. And some toy, a little tiny toy. Let's make faces. There's a happy face. Oh, look, those are the things from when you have a party and you, those uh, party favors. A sad face. Oh, a goofy face. A monster face. A scared face. A mommy face. A daddy face, a sleepy face, a snoring face, a party face. Now it's your turn. Let's make faces. Try to find objects in your house and see how many different faces you can make with them. And you can try all different kinds of things. And if you don't like uh, something that you made, you can start over again. So I'm gonna show you some things that I found at my house. And we're just gonna start with a piece of paper. And you can use, if you could use a plate or any kind of shape that you have. I found um, a piece of paper and I just cut a circle shape out. And then I found all these things. And so I'm gonna just start trying different things and see if, oh, you know what? This is a piece of an egg carton. And it looks like there's little eyes there and that almost looks like a nose. And a branch that I found. And then I think I might need some eyes so I can drop in those little buttons. Maybe I need some eyebrows. Oh. And if I turn them this way, I can make mad eyebrows. If I turn them this way, they can be happier eyebrows. Let's see what else. Um, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna try some scissors. Those kind of look like they, those could be an eye and a nose. And then oh, I found a rubber band. And the rubber band can be in different shapes. Let's see, maybe this could be some Lego eyebrows. And let's see, oh, I found a rock outside. So I make a little mouth inside of my face. Let's see what else I have here. Oh, I found a leaf outside. And then this is a funny, this came from, we call them monkey paw trees. It's a big um, kind of seed pod that you could use. Let's see. I have some more rubber bands. I have, let's see. Oh, I could use those for eyebrows. I could even just 
switch this. That's my blazer's keychain. Let's see what else. And you can do this pretty quickly because if you find something you like, you can stop and maybe take a picture and send it through Seesaw. I found a little flower bud and a button. I could use one of those smushed marbles. Let's see. You can also find things just from looking in your in the little newspapers that come. Can you remember that page when we had the little fruit faces? I can use a crayon for my eyebrow. Let's see. Ooh, this might be a good nose. It's a good nose. Maybe you could even put a flower in the hair. What else do I have? Oh, look, I found some these funny glasses that we got at a movie theater one time. Hmm, I could use that. Oh, maybe I'll switch this. I found this game piece in our game drawer. Little chess piece, we have to remember to put that back though. All right, so see if there's some different faces that you can make, um, and then you can post those and send those to me. And you, if you also, you could use a plate. If you don't have a piece of paper, you could use anything round or any kind of shape to make a face. I'm so excited to see what you're gonna find make. You can make different sh happy faces, sad faces, mad faces, sleepy faces. I'm just going to use only things from nature.